Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my guide covering auto rotation. Auto rotation is essentially landing a helicopter after main rotor or engine failure. It's a very simple process to learn. Uh, the mission I'm using to demonstrate this process. It's very easy to install. The link to it's in the description. Highly recommend it for practicing this. It's where I learned to fly both without a tail rotor and without my engine. It, it was very helpful. But um so starting off, I'm going to show what happens to most people that don't know how to rotate. So, they'll be flying along, and their first instinct, whenever they lose, say their engine, is to lose speed and to hold collective up. And just continue holding collective up. And as you'll see, yes, I am losing speed, but I'm going to hit the ground way too hard. And... There you go, I am dead. So, what you don't want to do is you don't want to hold collective up. You want to hold collective down until you get to about 10 to 15 meters altitude, at which point you put everything into collective up, which then pads your landing, essentially allowing you to take very little to no damage, which allows you to survive the impact. All right, so real quick, I'm going to demonstrate the easiest and the most important part of auto rotation. And that's what to do after you lose your engine. Most people, first thing they want to do is increase their altitude. They'll hold shift or whatever the key is to increase throttle, and that will get you killed. You have to decrease your altitude until you reach about 10 meters. So right now, I'm holding Z. This entire time, I will drop to about 10 meters, and now I'm holding shift. And there you go, landed perfectly, didn't take any damage. I do recommend practicing this a few times in auto hover until you just get the hang of what altitude you want to start increasing your throttle at and for how long you need to decrease your throttle and things such as that. And, um, real quick, I'm going to demonstrate a landing from full speed to completely landed. All right, so here we go. I'm flying along and all of a sudden I lose my engine. So, I'm going to want to lean the helicopters backwards and start losing speed, and I also want to start decreasing my throttle and losing altitude. So, I'm going to drop my speed to basically 0 kilometers an hour. Um, anywhere between 0 to 20 kilometers an hour should work perfectly fine. I'm going to get to about 10 meters altitude, and I'm going to just hold shift, and there we go. Land it perfectly, didn't take any damage. Alright, so now I'm in a, a bit of a heavier helicopter, Ghost Hawk. It's kind of medium and weight out of all the different helicopters in the game. So I'm going to kill my engine, I'm going to decrease my throttle, and I'm going to start decreasing my speed. I'm going to try and get my speed below 20 kilometers an hour, and drop to about 15 meters altitude. Once I hit about 15 meters altitude, I'm going to put everything into increasing my throttle, which will pad my landing and should, I mean, take no damage during this impact. And there you go. Perfect landing, didn't take any damage. Very simple process. The heavier the helicopter, the more space you want to give it for that landing. Um, Blackfoot is one of the heaviest helicopters in the game, and you want to give that about 30 meters for impact. Orca is about 20 meters. Uh, Ghost Ox, clearly, as you just saw here, 15 meters. Hummingbirds, 10 meters. All just depends on the weight. Um, like I said, practicing the editor is the best way to get used to the altitudes at which you need to start increasing your throttle. That's how I learned it, and then found that to be the, idiot, the easiest. So, there you have it. That's the basics of auto rotation. Very simple, as I said. It is easier to do this in modded vehicles because most modded vehicles have a bit more realistic physics, so they can take a bit more damage. But if you learn to auto-rotate in the vanilla vehicles, you should be able to auto-rotate any vehicle in the game, no problem. Um, oh, yeah, okay, that despawned on me. But uh, overall, the mission I'm using, great mission, links in the description, highly recommend using that. It is possible to find the scripts and set up the mission yourself in the editor, although it can take a bit more time. Um, be sure to check out the next guide I'll have coming out. I'll be covering flying without your anti-torque or uh, your rear rotor, as some people like to call it. Hope that you guys found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.